Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. The goalie carousel continues. Matt Murray was traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs, and that changes a lot in the Jack Campbell situation. Now, the Maple Leafs got a pretty good deal out of this. Matt Murray was traded along with a 2023 third round pick and a 2023 fourth round pick for only future considerations. Which, for those of you that don't know what future considerations are, it's basically the minimum you can give in a trade. It's like normally a conditional draft pick or something, but mostly it's just for clearing up cap space for the other team, and they're basically giving pennies on the dollar in return. But the Maple Leafs are kind of in cap trouble now, especially now with the fact that they have traded for an expensive goal. Now, not saying that Jack Campbell would have been any cheaper. In fact, he would have been way more expensive. But even still, he's pretty expensive at Murray for the quality he's given over the past couple of years. That isn't to say that will change. And I think it will because Matt Murray hasn't been given the best opportunity when you're in Ottawa, when your only good defensive player is Thomas Chabot. So now that he's playing behind a good defense, then I think he will rise in production like he did in Pittsburgh. Now, keep in mind, he had Tristan Jarrett to compete with there, so he lost out on that battle. But he still played pretty well, and I think he will again in Toronto. Otto, on the other hand, doesn't need him. You see, the Senators have Anton Forsberg, who's not a great starter, but he can be solid. He played just as well as Matt Murray, but on a cheaper contract. And they also have young... Phenom, Philip Gustavo, who has plenty of potential as a 2016 second round pick. And he played well, but he didn't get many opportunities, sort of like Stuart Skinner on the Oilers, because there's two older but solid goalies ahead of him. So the only time he would come in is when one of those two goalies was injured. Again, identical situation for Stuart Skinner. But the difference is, Philip Gustavin now has the opportunity to take the starting role on a team that doesn't need an elite goalie, while Stuart Skinner is going to be a backup. But what this means is that the Maple Leafs have basically given up on re-signing Jack Campbell. Now, Matt Murray isn't exactly the, an elite starting goalie, so I wouldn't be shocked if they went in and brought in some competition in free agency. Maybe Ilya Samsonov, because the Capitals denied to offer him a contract as a restricted free agent. So he will become an unrestricted free agent at the free agency period. So it wouldn't shock me. That would be an interesting competition to watch. But Jack Campbell is not coming back. And there are kind of two destinations Jack Campbell could go to now. Number one is the Oilers. And I'm not saying this because I'm an Oilers fan. It's because it makes so much sense. So Let's start off with the fact that Mike Smith is likely to start the season on long-term injury reserve. In fact, he might play the whole season on long-term injury reserve. And he's now 41, so it's not the best idea to put any faith in a 41-year-old injury-prone goalie. And the Oilers are in a win-now stage. If they get Jack Campbell, that could be the piece they need to win a Stanley Cup, which means it would make so much sense for them to go after an elite goalie. And like I talked about in my last video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, the Oilers now have a ton of cap space with Zach Cassian being traded and Duncan Keith retired. So they can afford Jack Campbell, which the Maple Leafs can't. The other team that Jack Campbell could possibly go to would be the Washington Capitals, and I know I mentioned Ilya Samsonov as a potential Maple Leafs destination, and it's because the Capitals could use an elite goalie, and they have not been impressed with Samsonov and Vanishek 
hence why they trade Vanacek and now have refused to offer Samsonov a contract. So they need to come in with a veteran elite goalie still. And Jack Campbell would make plenty of sense. They can afford him. They have plenty of cap space. And he would be a solid goalie on that team. Now, there's one other good goalie free agent hitting the market. And that would be Darcy Camper. So, I'm 90% sure whichever of these two teams doesn't sign Jack Campbell will sign Darcy Camper. It's that close. There's really no other teams in that mix. It's Washington Capitals or the Edmonton Oilers. This does not leave a very good opportunity for the rest of free agent goalies on the market or the goalies on the trade block. But there are a couple goalies that could still be traded, such as Sergei Brabovsky and John Gibson. But I'm not so sure about either of those. Sergei Brabovsky would be still a good option so they can phase in Spencer Knight but they can still have Brabovsky as a reliable backup for the Panthers if Knight doesn't work out, or if he gets injured, or if he just needs a break. John Gibson, on the other hand, is the starting goalie for the Ducks. No question. He is an elite goalie. He just hasn't had an elite defense because it's the Ducks. So it is true that he might want to trade, but it's likely that he won't be traded. First of all, he has already said he does not want to play for Toronto, which is why likely they traded for Matt Murray, because he was their only other good trade option. So it seems like his only choice left is to just spend the rest of his couple more years at least in Anaheim. And they're building a solid team, so it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing as it's been this past couple of years. The good goalie, though, that's not getting an opportunity on the free agent market would be Braden Holtby. I thought the Oilers were going to sign him as soon as Ville Husa was traded. That was the thing. It, he had to have been signed by the Oilers because the Oilers didn't have enough cap space for Jack Campbell or Darcy Kemper. But now they do. After Duncan Keith retiring and Zach Cassian being traded, they have plenty of cap space. So that leaves Braden Holtby out of the picture. Now, there are still a couple of teams that could be looking for a goalie upgrade, such as the Chicago Blackhawks. Mrazek is a solid starter until he gets injured, and then you're in trouble. But a holtby Mrazek competition would be very interesting, and if one of them gets injured, the other can back the other one up. So it makes plenty of sense for the Blackhawks to go and sign a goalie, and I think Holtby would be the best option. Another team would be the Columbus Blue Jackets, given that they don't have a real solid goaltender. Problem with the Blue Jackets is that they are not competing, and I know neither of the Blackhawks, but the Blue Jackets are in a different phase of just having an absolutely terrible defense. At least the Blackhawks still have Seth Jones. Let me guess, right now a notification saying Seth Jones was traded is going to pop up my screen in 3, 2, 1. Okay, never mind. But it's possible that Seth Jones is traded. But for now, the Blue Jackets have a far worse defense, which means it's not the best idea putting a mediocre goalie there. It's also possible that the Maple Leafs would go and sign Braden Holtby. A Matt murray Braden holtby competition could work out. But Holtby is likely to be more expensive than Samsonov, so I, and Samsonov's younger. So it would make a lot more sense, a Samsonov-Murray competition. Today was the deadline for restricted free agents to get their offer. And for those of them that did not get offers, they will all become unrestricted free agents on July 13th, along with everyone else that's becoming an unrestricted free agent. So that will make the market a whole lot more interesting. And Johnny Gaudreau still remains unsigned by the Flames. So it's possible, it's legitimately possible, that Johnny Gaudreau does not return to Calgary. In which case, Calgary is in trouble because he is their best player and their competitive team. Luckily though, they'll still have Matthew Kachuk, who is a solid player. And if Goudreau leaves, there's been rumors that the Flames might sign Nizam Kadri. Not quite as good as Johnny Goudreau, but still pretty good. He could easily be the sidekick to Matthew Kachuk, and that would be an interesting team to watch, even if they're not quite as good as they were this past season. But we'll have to wait and see. We have 
two more days, and then it is NHL free agency. And mark my words, there will be a ton of Sports with Dylan videos out there for you to watch. But for now, thanks for watching.